Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. Here with our daily free picks. All right, so our first free picks of 2020, 2019 is behind us and specifically December of 2019 is behind us. So December was my second worst month of the year. Um, if you guys thought December was bad, I'm glad you guys weren't around for April. I wasn't doing this back in April, but April was just an atrocious month. Um, and normally April's a really good month, so it's kind of weird. But um, yeah, so second worst month of the year and I'm happy it's over. So we are back, brand new year. Um, what we're gonna do, I've had a few of you guys ask me, I'm gonna keep the running total going, but I'm also going to post um, our year to date total for 2020. I gotta get used to saying 2020. I've already written 2019 on like three things and we're only a day in, so that's not good. But um, yeah, so I'm going to be posting um, la like year to date, totals as well as our ongoing totals, just so you guys have an idea um, how we're doing this year versus, you know, overall. So um, as well, I have an exciting announcement. I'm going to be adding a new series. Now this is only gonna be available to subscribers. I'm not gonna promote this on social media. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe down below and turn on the little bell for notifications so you get alerts to this. And the new series is gonna be called Bender Wins Long Shots. So these are plays that are gonna be one, plus 150 or higher. We're gonna track them completely separately uh, from our regular daily pick series. And it's certainly not gonna be something that comes out every day. Um, these are gonna be plays that have an ROI of 20% or higher. So only gonna be working with plays which, with ROIs of 20% or higher um, historically. So uh, again, certainly not gonna be every day, but I am gonna have some long shot picks for you guys. now. Uh, how should you approach the long shot picks versus regular picks? Um, these are typically, what you're gonna wanna do is uh, have them be either one unit plays or half unit plays. And so if you're, if you're betting 1% of your bankroll, um, perfectly fine to do a one unit play on them. But if you are on the higher end of things where you're betting you know, three to 5% of your bankroll per bet, I'd back that off to a half unit play. All right, so um, don't know when we're gonna have our first one. There won't be one today, but uh, yeah, keep an eye out for those guys. So again, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and you will get notifications for Bender long shot picks. All right, so let's get into it today, guys. Um, I'm releasing today's picks early. Um, there's potential that I might have another video later on for you guys. Uh, so if you haven't noticed, I took today off, I didn't, or yesterday off, I should say. Um, I released no picks yesterday, and I spent the entire day uh, relaxing and just going through the database, updating things, taking a look at old systems. And I spent a lot of time on the college basketball super system. So what I'm gonna be doing with the super system is typically with those picks, I'm gonna try and release them a little bit later on, just so I have a better understanding of the money distribution on those. Um, again, it, it was a solid system for us so far this year, just December is not that great. So I might have a video for you guys later on today with a couple college basketball super system picks. So um, without further ado, let's get into today's picks and let's get 2020 started off on a good foot. All right, so first off guys, um, college football. We have Boston College playing Cincinnati. So Boston College getting 25% of bets, 27% of money. So it's definitely a contrarian play. Now above and beyond that, we have steam and we have a reverse line move on Boston College. Um, we also have two system indicators, they're bowl indicators, so two system indicators on Boston College. So we're gonna be taking Boston College plus seven and a half in this game, all right? So Boston College plus seven and a half. All right, now I have um, five basketball plays for you guys and one of them is a two unit play. Um, now as well, uh, this, this is one, I guess one of the issues that we're kind of dealing with, um, with, you know, posting early basketball picks. Like when I, when I post them later on, there's been a lot of money that comes in. Um, you know, the lines are fairly stable. When you post basketball lines early, especially college basketball for smaller schools, those lines, as you guys know, can fluctuate. So, um, any of these plays that move more than a point and a half, um, we're gonna lay off them, all right? So at the time of posting, um, you're obviously be, gonna be able to get these lines, but as the day moves on, um, obviously, you know, if the lines go in our favor, by all means, you know, take those extra points. But um, 
If the lines go against us and, and move down a little bit, uh, you can play them up to a point and a half. Outside of that, um, lay off or dramatically decrease your unit size. All right. So the first game, guys, is Tosin and uh, Charleston. So uh, Tosin and College of Charleston. We have five system indicators on this game and 33% of bets. So nice contrarian play. And we're going to take Tosin plus six and a half. So Tosin plus six and a half. Uh, the second bet, guys, we have Jacksonville State against Moorhead State. Okay, four system indicators on Jacksonville State. So we're going to take Jacksonville State at plus two and a half. All right, Jacksonville State plus two and a half. Um, California and Stanford. So California, Stanford. Um, we have six separate system indicator plays ranging from 54% up to 60%. So guys, this is going to be our two unit play. We're going to take two unit play on California plus 13. So California plus 13, um, really, really strong game. So obviously it has to be a strong game or I wouldn't release as a two, two unit play. Um, all right, on to the next game. We have Montana and Southern Utah. So Montana, Southern Utah, again, four system indicators. So we are going to be taking Montana plus four and a half. All right, Montana plus four and a half. Um, Next game, guys, I'm going to give you one of the college super system plays um, because it is, it's a lit, like, there's a lot of information already on this game. Um, the other games that kind of fit into the super system mold, like I said, I'm probably going to release another video later on with those, but I want to really ultimately see where the money comes in on those. Um, this one, there is a fair amount of betting already in it. So we're going to take Fordham and VCU to go under 124. So Fordham VCU under 124. Um, I'm going to continue to work with the college basketball super system. Um, keep adding kind of filters, see what I can come up with in terms of which totals are working better. Uh, potentially create some first half filters because if you've noticed, we've been losing a lot of these games in the second half. Uh, so I've been working. I worked on it all day yesterday. I'm going to continue to work on that so we can uh, hopefully find some really cool profitable systems in that. So. Um, that's it for now guys. So again, busy, busy start to the year, five basketball picks. We have our football pick and, uh, in all likelihood, I am going to have another video for you guys later, uh, later on with some more college basketball super system plays. Um, those plays don't start till like 7 PM Eastern standard time. So no worries. And, uh, yeah, that's it guys. So let's get 2020 rocking and rolling. Got a new series coming out. Uh, Benders win long shots. Uh, they're only going to be out occasionally. So remember, guys, like, and to like the video, subscribe to the channel. That's it. So as always, guys, have a very lucky day.